Good morning, everyone. It's like three bush turkeys here. One, two, three. Oh, four. <laughs> Wonder how many wallabies I'll see this morning. I'll just wait for a couple people to jump on. Hey, Lisa, how are you going? Good morning. I saw you were up like super early, like always. <laughs> uh, who else is on? Oh, it's cold this morning. Yesterday morning it was a bit chilly, so I'm like, oh, it doesn't matter. I, I warmed up um, whilst I was walking yesterday, so today I'm like, hmm, feels a little bit colder. I'll wear some sleeves. And I'm just wearing, like, if you can see, tiny shorts and I'm freezing. <laughs> um, I can hear all these animals about. Uh, hey Em, hey Amy, how you guys going? And look at this, these are like trees just knocked down. I've got to walk underneath this. Ooh. From the storm. Okay, so let's get started. <laughs> so um, I was actually a bit scared to put this out there because I was worried that the person who gave the feedback might see it. Um, but the thing is, I'm not bagging anyone out. Um, I actually appreciate negative feedback because it allows me to grow. And, you know, when I first get it, I might have a bit of a, you know, adrenaline rush. My heart's beating. I might feel bad. I might go to a place of feeling hurt or upset at first. And the reason I go to that place first sometimes, not all the time, is because I, sorry, I'm walking up these big steps. <laughs> hey, Michaela, how are you going? The reason I go to that place of being hurt or upset sometimes first when I get this feedback is because I give my all to my clients. I put so much in to uh, everything that I do and I always want to make sure that everyone is super, super happy, that I over deliver and that people get massive, massive value. And if someone doesn't, that kind of makes me hurt and upset that they felt that they didn't because I want everyone walking away from anything that I do, a course, a VIP day, um, a retreat, um, thinking that they got you know, five to 10 times worth of value of what they, what they paid. Um, hey, Christine, how are you going? And so when someone doesn't, that um, kind of hurts me. Hey, Tina. Um, until I change my perspective uh, and realize that it's only partly about me, okay? So... The other thing is, I don't get negative feedback very much. So when I do, I like literally have had clients for a very long time raving about me and just saying that I'm amazing and my courses are amazing and they've got so much out of it. Everyone's getting amazing, amazing results. So, whew, let me catch my breath. <laughs> so when I get some negative feedback, it doesn't come very often. And it's like, oh, I wasn't expecting that. So what I can learn from that, oh, there's a wallaby just jumping around. <laughs> what I can learn from that is I should welcome constructive feedback more often. Um, so I've been meaning to do some surveys for my clients for a while, but I've just gotten so busy with everything else going on. So I'm actually going to do surveys every like three months so that I can see what, what are you loving about the, the program, the membership, whatever it is. Um, what do you think could be changed, added, improved? What would you like to see more of? You know, those kinds of questions. Or after I've done a VIP day or a retreat, doing it straight after that as well. And so I got some negative feedback um, yesterday. 
um, around my VIP days I ran last week. And um, basically someone said they got nothing out of it. And so for me, you know, I go into every, every course that I do, anything that I do, whether it's a webinar, a seminar, like if I'm going to it, you know, um, if I go to a course, if I go to jump on a webinar, if I do anything, even if it's content that I've heard before, I will get something new out of it. I go into everything that I do with no expectations and um, making sure that I get something out of it. Hey Tess, how are you going? So, um, and this was discussed at my VIP days as well. So I think it's really important to go into things with no expectations. Because, you know, if you've been looking forward to something for ages and you've built it up to be this, this big thing, and then you get there and you're like, oh, I didn't expect it to be this way. I thought we were going to do more of this or I thought we were going to do more of that. Those assumptions take you away from being present and take you away from actually learning and growing as a person. And so I never have any expectations or assumptions. That's something I've worked on. But I also know that in business, you are not going to, you don't need to reinvent the wheel all the time. Over the last six, six and a half years, um, you know, I've done target market a million times. I've done values activities a million times, but it, in slightly different ways. Every time that I, if I say I've had one-on-one -on -one coaching with someone and they've taught me something, then I read a book about the same thing, then I might jump on a webinar about the same thing. I'm learning something different each time. I'm digging deeper and it sinks in more and becomes more real and, and makes more sense. You know, every stage of your journey as well, you're going to be at, in a different place. So when you learn something one time, you might pick up on something and another time you pick up on something else. Yeah, so you're always learning, you're always growing and you're always going to be at a different stage in your life when you're learning these things as well. Hey David, hey Patricia, hey Maggie. Um, oh, that's funny Tess. <laughs> I'm there with you. <laughs> So, um, basically, I think that negative feedback is a great um, opportunity for self-reflection, but it's also, oh, there's another wall, oh, there's two of them, like, jumping together. <laughs> um, I don't think you can see from here. Um, hey, Laura, how are you going? Oh my god. Guys, this one's so close. I think it's the same one as yesterday. There's like three up there. Hey. Good morning. Can you see the other one up the top? <laughs> so cute. <laughs> All the wallabies. Yeah, there's three. There's another one behind the tree. Oh, that's so cute. Whoops. Meant to turn this around and it's not. There we go. Oh, there might even be four. There's heaps of them. They're like just chilling together. <laughs> um, so it's a great opportunity for um, self-reflection and it's a great opportunity to to learn and grow but also realizing that you can't please everyone okay um not everyone is going to like you not everyone is going to like everything that you do and that's okay don't take it to heart because it's not really about you and realize maybe the things of why they felt that way as well so uh, when that happened, I then got feedback from a few other people who were at the days and they were like, oh yeah, it was amazing. I learned this, this and this. I now have confidence in sales. Um, and 
like yeah I got so much out of it I've made this many sales now um, my mindset's amazing I loved this thing that we did I loved spending time with other like-minded people I loved the activities I loved the food so you know like oh another one oh it's a little one um, so it wasn't that um, the days weren't good uh, it was just you know what that person's going through at that time and that's okay and instead of you know reacting or or coming from a place of anger or whatever I just asked for more feedback I asked to clarify why she felt that way and what she was expecting from the days you know so then I can know for next time and you know the other thing is as well um yeah that's right um Amy and thanks Michaela yeah you can't please everyone and it's okay because the thing is it's not about you and most people they they make it all about them so I, I went to that place first um but then I got amazing feedback from like three or four other clients and that changed my perspective I did a bit of journaling on it and I realized and I just gave love to myself you know and, um, you know, uh, Amy actually, and uh, I don't know if Emily's still on, they gave me constructive feedback recently as well. Um, and Emily, like we had a chat about it and I noticed, I noticed my part in it and she noticed her part in it. And we were able to have a mature conversation for both of us to be able to grow. And, uh, uh, Amy as well, like, um, Want, like this this happens with a few people actually they want to leave my group but then they reach out to me and then they realize it's actually how they're feeling within themselves it's nothing to do with the group or the group's just a reflection of something they need to learn about themselves and um, Amy ended up staying in the group uh, when she realized that so with both Amy and Emily and you know a lot of other people that I've had these kinds of conversations with it's like if you are able to realize what's going on for you then you're able to have that self-awareness that self-reflection and really be able to grow I've had other clients who've dropped off in the past who you know attacked me it doesn't happen very often maybe once every couple of years now um, it happened a lot when I first started out with fitness um, but people will attack and they will blame and they will be in victim mentality and just put all the responsibility on someone else instead of themselves and that shows someone who's never worked on themselves that shows someone who's in a bad mindset and you know you don't really want to work with someone like that if they're not willing to grow anyway um i don't know how to say your name is it galen anyway hello um, Emily said all about feedback I got some from a client yesterday too yeah and it's good you don't want everyone just stroking your ego all the time you know you don't want everyone just saying oh you're amazing you're awesome because like you know we're not awesome all the time and yeah I think I do a pretty awesome job otherwise I wouldn't have clients staying with me for so long and getting such fast results but it's good to have some constructive feedback um, so that you can continue growing as well it's the same with you know obstacles and um, struggles in your life if you never have any obstacles if you're handed everything on a silver platter and never have to work hard for anything in your life then you're never gonna grow as a person because everything is always super easy and um, you don't grow from your comfort zone. You don't grow from a place of ease. You grow from a place of struggle. And so it's those times where things are harder that you're actually able to look internally, do that self-reflection and grow as a person. Um, and you know, in the past I used to get scared when you know maybe clients dropped off or I had something stressful going on either in my business or my personal life and now I notice those challenges and I actually get excited because I know on the other side of that struggle 
on the other side of the tough times is the light and it is the you know the growth and um, I find growth and always moving forwards I find that really exciting because I don't want to ever stagnate or stay the same you know it, how boring would that be um, I always want to be growing in whatever areas are important to me at the time which for me this year is about my own health it's about my family um, and it's about my business so I'm focused on those three areas to be able to grow and continue growing and you know you don't just do one thing and you're sorted I will always have a mentor I will always invest in myself because even at the oh there's a wallaby right here guys turn it around hey Oh, it was so close. They're not usually in this spot. Like, look, this is the path, and it was, like, right there. Um, so many of them. I haven't even been counting today. Who's been counting? <laughs> hey, Shanna, how are you going? Um, Lisa said someone once told me they are not saying no to you. They're saying no to themselves. 100% agree with that great chick. <laughs> Thanks, Lisa, quoting myself back to me. <laughs> um, yeah, it's true. <laughs> I'll agree with myself. Um, so I can't even remember what I was going to say. Yeah. So I'll, you know, even at the level that I'm at now, so basically in my business, I've got, um, I've got a $600,000 a year business now. I've got multiple team members. I've got multiple programs. I've got over 60 clients. I live in my dream house. I travel around the world 16 times a year. Um, I'm going to Richard Branson's Island in a couple of weeks time. Um, I've got just amazing, amazing things going on. And you know, I, even at this level, I can always be growing and learning more on the strategy of business, of someone keeping me on track, and always be deepening my mindset and growing as a person as well. Thanks, Shanna. I appreciate that. Uh, so, you know, you never stop learning. You never stop growing. And I guess with all those things that are going on for me at the moment as well, all the amazing things, it's like, you know, there's so many coaches and there's so many people online that just put all the amazing stuff up. But... What that does is people go online and they think, oh, everyone else's life is perfect. Everyone else is like, they might be showing a photo where they look their best or whatever, or they might be um, like saying all the things that they're grateful for. You know, when I put that gratitude post up last night, it's because I wasn't feeling too good. And I was using that as a tool to make myself feel better, plus getting amazing feedback from some of my other clients and then doing some journaling and some mindset work. That changed my mood, it changed my perspective. And so, you know, people who are just going online and just saying all the amazing things going on, they actually do a disservice to others. Hey Zoe, how are you going? Um, they do a disservice to others because people are looking at that and comparing themselves and judging and thinking, oh, everyone else has their lives sorted and I'm struggling. Hey, Roma, how are you? But the thing to realize is you've got to stop judging others. You've got to stop putting people up on a pedestal and stop thinking that everyone else has all their shit sorted because no one does. Okay? Everyone goes through crap. Everyone has tough times, but the thing is, the good times, the positives, the amazing things far outweigh the negatives, always, every day. And so if you're feeling like you're having a really tough day, then look at the positives. Look at the things that you're grateful for. Look at all the amazing things going on in your life. Because sometimes when one bad thing happens, people can look at that one bad thing 
and make it about everything. You know, I've had that happen with clients recently as well, where they've been like, uh, I had a client last week, someone wasn't answering their phone, she wanted to do sales calls. And it wasn't really about people not answering their phone. And she made this big long list of 10, 20 other things that she wasn't happy with um, that were making her feel down. And so it's looking at that and realizing, well, no, everything isn't bad and look at the good things that are going on. Uh, So puffed out again, I'm walking up hills and down steps and all over the place. (laughs) So does anyone have any questions, comments? If you've jumped on towards the end, make sure you go back and watch the start as well. Um, And if you're watching this afterwards, feel free to write any comments or questions here as well. Um, It says there's six people on right now, and there's been more throughout as well. So just let me know, what's your biggest question you've got right now, or the one thing that you're going to take action on today? And put it in the comments box, guys. Don't just be on here and be listening. Unless you're driving, obviously don't type. But um, make sure you pop a comment or a question in the box right now so that I can help you or just so I can hear what you have to say. And then I'm going to wrap up in a second. So I'll just wait for those comments. Awesome. Michaela said she's doing a live video today. And I actually got off track with doing my lives. Um, I love doing them, but... I wasn't actually exercising for a little while until last week. I wasn't, I was kind of going for sporadic walks. Last week I exercised like nine times, I think. Um, And uh, now I'm starting doing the morning walks again. So it's nice to have you guys with me on my morning walks. Um, Pat said, great, really enjoyed this. We'll make a short video myself. Awesome. Amy said, sales calls. How many sales calls, Amy? Do you have a list of people to call? I would write down their names and call all of them, yeah? Um, So as a wrap-up, negative feedback or um, constructive feedback is a good thing. Um, You want to welcome any feedback in your business so you know where you can grow, where you can improve, but also realize that, um, that it's not just about you it's partly about them as well okay you can't please everyone not everyone's going to be happy all the time but you can always be growing and you can always go into things with no expectations so that you get as much as possible out of it you want to be present in your day-to-day life in anything where you're learning or just in life in general you know with your kids with your partner with um, your clients with anything that you do Hey Beck, hey Scott, hey Sarah, how are you all going? Uh, so, Zoe said a live video today as well, awesome. Amy said seven sales calls. Michaela said I'm doing one a week, but I did one yesterday and we'll do another today, awesome. I actually find sometimes it's easier to do things daily than like once a week because with once a week you can get out of the habit and forget about it. Imagine if you're just exercising once a week, yeah? Um, Whereas if you do something daily, then you're going to build your engagement and your following um, more, um, more quickly, but you're also gonna be in the habit and get better at it more quickly, like quicker as well. Um, So if you've just jumped on, go back to the start because I am just wrapping up. Um, And just letting everyone know as well that I have the next round of Six Figure Systems starting on Monday. Um, So I actually have never had any negative feedback about Six Figure Systems, so there you go. Um, And I've had uh, 9, 10, 11, 12, uh, probably about 20 to 25 people that have gone through it so far. Um, There's another nine that have signed up for the next round so far. So there's a couple of spots left. And basically the people who did it last time, they they made their investment back within the first few weeks. And it's helping people get to six figures or multiple six figures as quickly as possible, depending on where you're at in your business. Um, And so if you want to learn how to do that, if you want to learn 
how to not only make more money but leverage your time so you have more time to spend with your family or traveling or more freedom to be able to step back or take a day off or anything like that and really grow your business super fast then let's have a chat either comment here um, or send me a personal message and we can have a chat about where you're at in your business and your goals and uh, if it would be suitable for you. Um, and if not, if you decide not to, then you still get um, a phone call with me where, um, where you'll you know, have goals and a plan in place for the next steps in your business. And I'm actually taking myself out of calls a bit at the moment. So I'll still be talking to people about Six Figure System, um, but then I'm putting on a, a coach and a, um, a person to do um, some phone calls for me as well to help me out in that area because, you know, doing 20 phone calls a week is just too much for me right now to get everything else done. So uh, maybe I should talk about that tomorrow. Um, so if you just jumped on, go back to the start, watch it. Let me know if you've got any questions or comments and um, hope you all have an awesome day and I will talk to you soon. Bye.